And we're back, Human Nuggets here with some more Modern Warfare 2 content for you today. We got the M13C finished out to its thousand kills, so we can go ahead and chuck the charm on for that one. There we are. Now the build I was using is the Bruin Flash Grip, tuned in Sprinter Fire and ADS Speed. We have the M13C FS Collapse Stock, the VLK Laser 7 Milliwatt, tuned in ADS and Sprinter Fire Speed again. The 14 inch Bruin Echelon Barrel tuned in damage range and recoil steadiness. And lastly, the Echoline GX GSX muzzle tuned in bullet velocity and recoil smoothness. Now, I already know I'm going to title this video something to do with how good it is on shipment. But that being said, it is really good on the other maps as well, like fun, enjoyable. I only initially started using it on Shipment because I wanted to get this video out sooner. Uh, but like, Shipment's perfect for it because pretty much all your sight lines are before the point where the recoil completely decimates the effectiveness of it. Um, because it, it does have a lot of recoil. And it's best to think of it like uh, the most recent video, if you watch that, with the uh, FR Avancer where it's pretty much an SMG just put in the AR class. Um, fuck off, oh, what a piece of shit. But yeah, it's it's very fast, very high recoil again. Um, that being said, it has a lot of recoil, but I don't find it, you know, kind of detrimental until trying to do it from rank. I remember trying to get platinum for this thing and absolutely hating life. Um, but yeah, no, it, this the difference between this and the Avancer is that I actually like this gun. It's not just like a, oh, I can see how it works. I Actually, this might end up being one of my preferred guns in the game in, uh, in this current patch, at least, of uh, balance changes. But yeah, it's just quick, snappy, And like you can see, even at mid-range and stuff, oh well, mid-ish range, it still handles its own. It's, uh, yeah, no, tr trying to go over distance, you will, you will hate this gun. Um, it's very much, e even if you don't go for the aggressive attachments I've got on that, y you kind of still need to play aggressively with it. It just doesn't fit in elsewhere. But I feel like this is a good example of a gun with a lot of recoil that can still be controlled. Because I... If you've been watching me for any amount of time, you'll know that I, uh, I complain about recoil a lot. And just saying that as a base, it's like, oh, you know, of course on the kind of builds like this you're going to have recoil. But it's, it's the type of recoil. There's good recoil and there's bad recoil. And this has pretty good recoil. Um... Doesn't have the fastest TTK, and obviously, you know, immediate proximity, you're gonna lose that to, uh, shotguns. And even, like, uh, you know, if, you, if you're close enough that they're touching you inappropriately with that gun, you're probably gonna lose to most SMGs. And I still lost to the, kind of the Vaznev a lot, even in the ranges that I really liked using this thing over, um... So that's kind of where I'd situate it. Fuck, that was just me aiming terribly. It does not have the fastest TTK, which is a bit of a downside. It takes um takes a decent few bullets to kill unless you're getting headshots. Um but it's fast enough that I'm happy with it still, like... Yeah, the guns I like, I always end up being shorter videos, because it's easier to rant about things you hate without repeating yourself than it is to, uh... go on about things you enjoy without sounding like a broken record, but honestly, it is just... a good time. Like, I have seen some people that don't like this weapon, and I feel like it's just, a. Uh, it suits a very specific playstyle, I will say that. Um, 
So that's that's really the main downside I can see to it. You have to play to its strengths as opposed to building it to your strengths kind of thing. So I can see why people wouldn't like this gun, but at the same time, it's just, yeah, it's neither here nor there. But yeah, so I'd, I definitely love this thing. It's one of the guns I ended up with, uh, one of my highest KD ratios for the guns after getting the thousand kills with it. Um, like, it's still not high, but it's like it was positive. I consistently did well with this thing, and I was happy with it. Not for everyone. Great on shipment, but still very fun on other maps. Um, that's really all I have to say, though. Um, so I hope you've enjoyed, and died. We'll catch you in the next one.